Good morning and thank you for staying tuned to Sunrise Asi right here on CTV. So it's a pleasure waking up to you and welcome to yet another episode of Wellness. My name is Apollo Sara and today I am at Cod Clinic Bukoto on Kira Road and I am talking to the good doctor, Dr. Angela Kisa and we are talking about dental care. Today with a special emphasis on tooth replacement so she's going to be giving us all the details on crowns bridges dentures implants is there something that i have missed out that's so. just about it exactly so doctor what are tooth replacements um so basically tooth replacements are <laughs> replacements of teeth <laughs> yeah, replacements of teeth so when you lose your natural teeth yeah. and then you put yeah. in another artificial teeth yes so when does one need a tooth replacement? Um, Aside from the fact that you have, you were probably in an accident and mm, lost your teeth, yeah. but are there other times when somebody is uh, eligible for a tooth replacement? Yeah, there are many times. Uh, first, you know, accidents, you've lost all your teeth. Um, sometimes, uh, like we said about periodontal disease and gingivitis, in extremes it will cause tooth loss. Okay. So when your teeth are lost due to dental diseases, then we can replace them as well. Then also um, when the cavities proceed, um, you know, pulp irreversible, they have become irreversible now, then the only option is to lose the tooth. Yes. Then also, then we can replace the tooth. Also, um, trauma maybe you're involved in a fight and your tooth fractures because there are times when a tooth fractures we call it a vertical fracture and the tooth can't be saved it can't be root canal the tooth has broken from the crown um, up to below the gum line we yes. cannot just put a cement in it because then it will cause more pain than relief so we remove it so even in those situations we can replace this so generally any for any reason that you lose your teeth yes we can replace them we replace them for diseases or trauma or dental caries or cavities yeah so for the benefit of the viewer i would like you to please explain to me what is the difference between all the different types of teeth replacement i mean there are crowns mm. there are dentures mm. there are bridges mm. and then there are implants yeah. so what is the difference mm. Okay, so uh, I'll start with crowns. Yes. Because, so crowns are basically, we put crowns over a tooth. So the tooth is not completely lost. It's there, but it has probably lost um, some part of yeah, it. Yes, some part of it. Uh, we have done a root canal because when we do a root canal, we kill the nerves of the tooth. And so we leave it there. We leave it like a shell. Yes. But that means that it becomes brittle and it can easily break. Yes. So then we can crown it so that we can keep it in the mouth because the whole point of doing it is so that we don't lose it. Yes. So then we can crown it. And then, um, yeah. Bridges. Uh, bridges. So bridges, you have lost a tooth. If you have lost a tooth, for example, um, I'll use this as an example. So if you have lost this tooth, for yes. example, this person here, we would have to trim this usually because of you know dental decay and even maybe just trauma yes. and you lose one tooth but the rest are fine yes so or even two teeth but it has teeth beside it and there are teeth around it that are okay so we shall trim this a little bit and then trim this a little bit post post so it's connecting mm -hmm. so these two are just like support for us to replace another tooth in the middle okay there. Yeah, so that's how bridges work. So with bridges, you can take it out and then put it no. back in or it's permanently permanent replacement. placed inside Yeah, so there. bridges are permanent replacements and also crowns are permanent replacements. So we, we, we have a cement that helps to hold it. So we, when we have taken the measurements, because we trim and then after that we take measurements to fit perfectly into your teeth. Yes. And so we shall put a cement and then hold it there so it doesn't come out. Okay. Yeah. And so, that's so I, I wanted to ask before we move on to the other type, in regard to bridges and crowns, mm. can you replace them over a period of time or you, it's a one-time deal? It's ideally one time, yeah, okay. but sometimes, you know, something can happen. Maybe it can get loose or you can get into another accident, accident the and then break it and stuff like that. So we can replace it in those scenarios, but ideally it's permanent replacement. Okay. It can go to from like 
10 to 15 or 20 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's really good. So we have done crowns. We've mm -hmm. talked about bridges. Now let's talk about dentures. dentures. Yes. Yeah. So um, dentures, the other um, scenario where I didn't mention that a person would need um, replacement is if a person didn't develop any teeth at all because some that happens as well. Sometimes people don't develop teeth because of, you know, some underlying, um, yeah, underlying health issues. Health yes. issues. And so they don't develop teeth. So teeth. In those cases, we can re uh, we'll just give them, give them teeth. teeth. Yes. Yeah, but dentures basically are removable. They're not a permanent solution. So they are removable and they come in different kinds. There is full dentures. That's for a person that has absolutely no teeth or little teeth. Those people we do full dentures for them and those you we take you know, measurements and come up with the way the teeth will look and then we give you the dentures, but those ones you cannot go to bed with them. So when you're going to bed, you take them off, keep them somewhere and then... Why? Go to Why bed. can't they go to bed with them? Because um, they harbor a lot of um, bacteria, bacteria and, and, and so they'll affect their gums in the long run because okay. there is a lot of foreign bodies in the mouth. Okay. And so we advise that you keep them somewhere and then you use them in the morning again when you wake up you wash them brush them and put them back uh, you can use them for anything you can talk properly with them you can eat properly with them it's just that when you're going to bed you have, have to, to take, take them, them out and then there is partial dentures yes so partial dentures are for people maybe a person has lost one tooth or two teeth or maybe one tooth down and one tooth up we give them partial dentures so depending on how many teeth are on that partial denture you can keep it in the mouth. So for example, if it's one or two teeth, you can just remove it every time you're brushing and put it, put back. it back. Yeah, you can sleep with it, you can eat with it. It's just not a permanent replacement option. All right. Yeah, so that is dangerous. Okay, and then the last one, implants. And yeah. I am absolutely terrified with this because I've watched, the, I've watched you know, some YouTube videos yeah. or videos online of how they are placed in the mouth. Mm. They look beautiful, mm. but the process seems to be absolutely painful so number one in which instance would you give somebody or recommend somebody have implants mm. and why um i think that implants are one of the most stable teeth permanent teeth solutions yeah. options because um what happens is uh so we put we graft a metal into your bone. Of course, we would have to first do due diligence. Yes, no, numb your, your whole face, the whole body. <laughs> no, just, just knock where me we're, out. <laughs> no, we just numb where we're going to work. And we have to make sure before that your bone is actually strong enough to hold this metal. And if you are allergic or not aller allergic to certain things, so, certain that we don't, metals, yeah, yes. so that we don't place stuff in your mouth that are going to cause you more harm than good. But after that has been confirmed, we graft a metal, I think this is a better depiction, yes. something like this. So you, we graft this metal into your bone, we leave it to sit for about three months because that's about how long it takes for the body to get used for, to something new in the mouth. Okay. Yeah. So we graft it in and then for the meantime, as we wait for the three months, we can put a temporary um, crown solution, yeah? Okay. So that your tooth looks okay. And then after three months, if everything is okay, then we go ahead and put a um, permanent crown on it. I think that this, because this metal that we graft in acts as um, the root. The root, yes, yes the best. It acts like the root, so it's really anchoring the tooth. For in as much as bridges are good, um, dentures as well, as much as all the, the other ones, for the bridge, we would have to embed a tooth that is perfectly fine. Because we are trying to replace this one, we will have to trim this one that is fine, and this one that is fine, so that we can replace a tooth. But the implant, we are only replacing one tooth, okay. right? And it's permanent and it's going to hold, right? So I think that we indicate, like, it's it's okay. It's okay to do crowns for any person that has been cleared to do it. Okay. Yeah. So it is the, it is say for instance the best solution, mm. best yes. option rather, the to tooth option. replacement. Yeah. Because it doesn't um, involve 
it doesn't allow for the other teeth to yes. be, you know, affected yes, so by if it. Yes, we are replacing the tooth that was lost, that's all we are doing. doing yes. yes. It's, the denture could, you know, also be the same because we're not invading any teeth, but yeah. remember it's a temporary yes. um, replacement option. And you can't yeah. sleep with them for me right there. <laughs> <laughs> if there are many, but if it's one, well, you can. Yeah, so that's 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 the implant. All right. Yeah. And then lastly, cleaning them. Mm. How do you clean them? Mm. Are there any special um, hygiene products to use, or you can clean your dentures, your crowns, mm. and your implants just the way you clean your teeth? You can clean your implants. Uh, you can clean your bridges because now the bridges and the crowns are like now a part of your teeth because yes. they are permanent. Like if a person looked at you, they wouldn't know that that's a that's a that's a, a tooth, replaced, yeah, yeah, tooth that is replaced. Yeah, so you clean them the way that you clean your normal teeth. For dentures, though, um, you would have to remove them and brush them and thoroughly rinse them. Yeah, so that they are you brush them with. Without toothpaste, you brush them. Oh, with without toothbrush. toothbrush. Yes. Oh, okay. Toothbrush, but without toothpaste and water, and make sure that they are thoroughly clean, and then you can wear them again. Um, yeah, that's it. And there you have it. You're not yet out of the red zone. You still have to make healthy choices. Stay away from fizzy drinks. Stay away from pastries and sugary substances. Please make healthy choices so that you can continue to protect the rest of your body. It doesn't matter if you have a whole, you know, replaced mouth with beautiful teeth. You still have to make healthy choices because if you don't, it's going to go on to affect your gums and it's going to have, you know, an, an effect on the rest of your body. And that is all I had for you on this segment of wellness. My name is Apollo Sarab. Don't go anywhere. Keep on watching Sunrise at Sea. We are also streaming live on our Facebook page and that's at CTV Uganda and on our website and that's on www.ctv.co.ug. Don't go where. Don't go anywhere. This is Sunrise at Sea. Don't blink. <laughs>well, that's all we had for you this morning on Sunrise at Sea. Quick reminder that this show runs every Monday to Friday right from the hour of 7 a.m. up to the hour of 9 a.m. Otherwise, from the team and I, we wish you a happy new lovely month. See you tomorrow, same time, same place. Do not blink and good morning.